YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here, and we are back in the malevolent forest of the Griffinwood, and we're going to be continuing as Draka. Now, in the short campaign as Draka, in order to achieve victory, we need to go to Athaloran. We are losing money hand over foot because of having to field two large armies, and I keep fighting over these pointless heathlands in the Griffinwood after we've already healed it. So what I'm going to do is fall back with one army to the Griffinwood, and then the other army I'm just going to take the deep roots over to Athaloran and get started. Plus, that's a good way to get some money by holding those settlements over there, though we can expect some pretty severe resistance, I think, um, because of what we'll run into. Now, I could just leave the garrison of the Griffinwood here and see how it holds up. It is fairly powerful, but that would be risky if we start to get hit by, you know, two, three, four stacks of enemies. Um, but I may have to, depending on what kind of resistance we run into uh, near the Oak of Ages. Now, we're not technically at war with anybody over there because we can't see them. But I think that we should expect that we will be at war with them very quickly. Oh, I had a name up on the screen. Yeah, and, and I got it on here. I figured if I took a, a comment, which this one came from Mandalore223, um, who wanted me to rename um, this uh, treatment, which I did. But then when I go to rename it, it comes up with Malevolent Tree Man. How weird. Anyway, the name is this. I can't pronounce it. Yggdrasil or whatever, which he says is the world tree from North mythology. So there we go. We named it after that. So there, that'll be fun. Um, <laughs> and I won't forget that name uh, because I did it right up front. I almost forgot it just now. Did you all notice that? I, I had it up on the screen intending to do it first and I still almost forgot it. Wow. Takes some real skill, folks. Takes some real skill. Um... Let's upgrade our Way Watcher here. This Way, this way Stalker, sorry, uh, needs a name. We haven't given the Way Stalker a name yet, and I feel like that could be a fun one if someone wants to uh, take a couple shots at it. If not, I mean, I'll see if anybody named it in the comments from this last time as well. Patchy the Austrian Tree Man. Verdant Growth, Casualty Replenishment Rate for Dryad. Uh, this would actually be pretty helpful. Ooh, gives him regeneration, but makes him even weaker to fire. Well, he'll be very weak to fire. Um, but that is kind of a cool ability. I know we were going to work work on some of these other skills down here as well. And I will, but I want this one, Verdant Growth. Real quick, um, let's see. Got the Mind Razor. Let's cheapen up Pit of Shades as much as possible. Magic reserves, let's go with Earthing, and then Arcane Conduit. Alright. No point in spending any money. Um, in fact, even at Beckhoff, and I'm just going to take my cash back, because it's going to be a wasted spin. We won't be able to uh, maintain it. So, in fact, I may just dismantle some of these buildings just to get a little bit of cash back on some of this stuff. Um... And we'll just uh, fall back to the Griffinwood as soon as our movement points allow it. So I'm going to skip past that. And let's get some comments here. Chin Mei says, I imagine the Tree Man Warcry going, hold on to your birches, boys. You, Y-E-W, are going to war. <laughs> I like that. It's very reminiscent of the hold on to your butts from Jurassic Park. Look at this. I'm getting hemmed in by Empire armies still. No? They're not even going to all move over there? What was the point of that? Why would they siege me with the one army and then hold the other two off, giving me a chance to win and escape back to the Griffinwood? It's very odd. Maybe they couldn't all reach me? I don't know. But one way or the other, we'll fall back to the Griffinwood. We'll deal them some defeats. Speaking of falling back to the Griffinwood, I'm going to start moving Draka back that way. Yeah, I don't think this army can hold here. Doesn't look like it. I mean, I don't have much of a settlement gar or, yeah, garrison, which is fine. All we gotta do is kill Boris and uh, his halberd spam here. Which I feel quite confident we can, especially since this army can almost exclusively vanguard deploy. Meaning that we're going to take away pretty much any and all artillery advantage that they would have. So, let's see, uh, Tree Warcry. You, the enemy, I pine for blood. <laughs> I like it. That's good, bippity boppity. I like it. Anthrax Cat says, watching you summon on top of Skaven instead of the other way around is very satisfying. Indeed, it is. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Fighting Skaven is insanely irritating. It's like, like I've said, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. It's it's that irritating. Um, 
it is extremely irritating. And uh, fighting with them obviously isn't as bad because you know you're constantly um, doing those mean things to someone else rather than yourself. So it kind of gives you a little bit of reprieve. I'm gonna make sure we intercept all of the cavalry units properly with our tree men. All right, and then to back up said cavalry, I'll have. Let me take my spiders on this thing. I think the spiders will be more helpful against those two units of cavalry, and then my hawks over here, zotes, wherever I need them. All right, here we go. Battle, group two move up, group three move up. All right, I'm gonna bring the Zotes up and try and keep an eye out, like see if we can jump Boris and kill him quickly. Uh, right here, right here. guys over here. Let's go kill Boris. Somehow one of the Reichsguard failed to be charged, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, let's get a good pendulum. Nope. And that Reichsguard just waltzed away and left Boris to fight for them. Pull some of our units out of this fight. Zotes. Use my regrowth there. Heal up a little against Boris. Lost an eagle over there. So that Reichsguard got free. How are we doing magic wise? Pin all that stuff down. Somehow, both of these Reichsguard units are still alive. That makes no sense whatsoever. I had AP damage in both of those fights. Doesn't make any sense at all. I'm going to take the Enigmas of Gyran and head this way. My spiders ought to chew through that Reichsguard, especially since they're poisoning it. Let's help out a little back here. Let's go after these witch hunters. Eat the crap. All right, Boris is coming back over here, so let's turn around and go get Boris. All right, I'm out of magic at the moment. Other abilities available. I guess spiders are completely ineffective against armor, even though they're built as anti-armor. <laughs> oh well. How is Boris still alive? This is like the dude's third charge into Zotes. And he's on a Pegasus, not like he's on a Griffin or something really powerful here. Look at that, he didn't take any damage. Completely surrounded. There he goes. Finally takes a hit. But it's only for like a little. <laughs> if he gets back in the air from this alive, it's going to be a shame for display. Thank you. So you're going to say, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. That is not something that Boris survives at that point. Um, Daniel Brownson says... <laughs> I'm tired of these mother blanking vampires and mother blanking Sylvania. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Channeling some, what is, what is this? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, channeling some Samuel L. Jackson into this. Um, I lost a unit of Hawks. We can get them back if we just head back to the. Actually, I may be able to get them back immediately. We can. 
They won't have the same rank, which is unfortunate. Alright, we are safe in the Griffinwood. The Empire can do what they will out here. It's of little concern to me. Um, plus, they lost Absolutely Boris while they were out there, so they've taken some uh, losses in the process of even just trying to take the Heathlands. And um, that'll leave me in a good position, I think, to heal up Draika, send her to the Great Forest of Athaloran. All of this is pointless, so I'm not wasting any money uh, on it. Let's see, replenishing troops actually would be handy, but I also really need Arcane Conduit, um, which is what I've been working towards. This will help me use a whole lot more magic in these fights. Okay, um, ready to end another turn here. Uh, Dual says, it would be cool if the exported logs of tree are still sentient and function as spies. That would be cool, and that would have been a neat mechanic for CA to add. Um, it's like getting suckered into trading, but then for the player it would never happen, right? Because would they ever be crazy enough to trade with Draka? I don't know, but it is an interesting idea. An interesting idea. I like the idea. Uh, Dave Bayer says, uh, frame rate drops for me as soon as I enter an underway stance, but only with certain stacks. Huh. I wonder if that's part of it. It could be, but I get massive frame rate drops sometimes on the campaign map, and it doesn't make any sense. You would think the campaign map would be the place where your graphics card maybe doesn't get taxed as hard. But it absolutely does. Um, and so it's it's a little strange. I can't say that I entirely understand it. Alright, I'm going to just come back up here into reinforcement range. Start doing some healing in the Griffin Wood. And yeah, Patchy the Tree Man is all healed up. Uh, we can continue down here now, I think, with... Yes, Wonders of the Forest, because that helps us get more money. We're losing considerably less money now, which... Why was I losing more? Is it because, like, someone has a character that, like, increases the output, probably, from local buildings or something? Leadership, all anvil armor. No, it's not her. Huh. Go ahead and assign some of these banner standard discipline. It's not not patchy. Very interesting. That's very odd, actually. Armor and weapon strength. We don't have any of these units in his army, so it doesn't matter. Um Uh, the plus two public order will still be useful, though. Uh, now that, that is odd indeed. Let's go back here. Armor of Fortune. So we still don't have a hand weapon available. Magic resistance. Fire, fire resistance is a good armor. Especially for my... I almost wonder if the fire resistance is more worth it. It might be. I don't know. I'll, I'll go ahead and just put it on I me. Mean, because these branch wraiths are going to be weak to fire as well. Reload time reduction. Might as well put some of this equipment on here. A potion of healing, could we have gotten that on Patchy? Yes. I'd rather have that Patchy blast spell. Should have checked this stuff earlier. We got a fireball there. All right. Yeah, and none of this really matters. To, well, I mean, it gives a slight reduction in enemy agent success chance. All right. Fair enough. Here we go. Um, let's see. Sank says, anytime my salty, forgetful Carthaginian friend. Uh, now, please go and forget naming a dryad unit that 70s bush. I dare you. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh, we, that's right, we allied with the dwarves. Um, let's enter this war on their side. Um, I want to make good allies out of the dwarves so the Empire will eventually leave me alone when they've got what they want. I want to focus on the elves and really couldn't care less about all this crap that the Empire's fighting over. It's no longer relevant to me um, because we already got what we wanted out of it. Um, why MMN says racist tree huggers and stunty tree hackers are friends. Skaven, visible confusion, 
We think we need to lay off snorting ground warp stone. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, it just, it works. The Stunties wear a lot of metal. Now, they probably have to burn a lot of logs, you know, in order to, to smelt that ore and stuff like that. But you know, we'll just, we'll just pretend it works, okay? It's like NVIDIA says every time they release an overpriced graphics card, right? It just works. It just works. <laughs> Can't help but have a little fun here. All right, looks like the Empire is in no hurry um, to enter the Griffin Wood, and I can't say I blame them. Um, it would be extremely foolish of them to do so. Um, Drika is nearly healed. Uh, we're going to be at a loss for range if we engage the other Wood Elf factions. I'm very tempted to swap over to just standard Deep Wood Scouts um, so that we gain some range. Um, but at the same time, the Swift Shiver Shards do lay out an absolute shellacking. And so I will keep them. Infantry-wise, uh, we ain't got much infantry here, but it is decent infantry what we have. We do have some trees to help support us. Um, one that still needs a name, it looks like. And maybe we'll get that. Uh, I'm gonna wait one more turn, because I need to be fully healed before I head into the, uh, the deep roots. Um, what do we get here? Casualty replenishment rate. Okay, great. That's gonna be helpful. Starting winds of magic. Immune to storm or reef attrition won't matter. Missile resistance for elf units. That could matter, actually, going into these fights that we're about to be in. And, uh, yeah. So I will take that. Um, let's end this one. Uh, Daniel Olson says, The dwarven factions have finally learned to make, uh, to make of use dead wood for all their woodly needs. <laughs> Um, Stefano says, name a tree man, barking mad. Here we go, this is the name, because they're angry. And then we have that 70s bush. It says, insane and made of wood. Love the videos. Okay, we can do that. I'm going to stop right here. No more comments am I taking. I'm going to rename the units as soon as this turn ends. Air will do it. Air will manage it. He will make it. Oh my gosh, Von Karstein's still alive. That's almost too much for me to handle. Like, where, where do they even have a faction? Do they have a faction? Mortals, thou hast trespassed. Thou hast trespassed. How do they have three settlements? Where do they have three settlements? Alario Who gave Alario. these guys three settlements? All right. I, I don't understand where they came up with three settlements. Uh, it's very difficult for me to pallet this. Do not they don't even want a peace treaty. All right, well, whatever. Screw you. No one likes you. I'm an angry tree. Um, here we go. Um, barking mad. Alright, here we go. There we go. I even got the names in. Can you all believe it? I can barely believe it. Um, let's head into the... The, uh... What is it? The deep roots here. Head to the Oak of Ages. This is gonna get dangerous. Oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna get dangerous. Yeah, multiple stacks of enemies. Uh, the Crag Halls of Findal is looking. Of and Vol's Anvil. Let's see who looks the weakest. Neither looks particularly weak. Lord of the Glade. Woo! So three Glade. angry reindeer or no angry reindeer. I may need both my armies to pull this off. I may just have to trust the Griffinwood to its own defenses. I mean, we do have a lot of defenses, but... Oh boy. I mean, we're gonna need some help to get things moving over at the Oak of Ages. Of course, if I start taking settlements over at the Oak of Ages... I mean, do we have to maintain control of the Griffinwood at this point? Doesn't say we do. Perhaps it's worth the risk. It's going to be multiple turns before I can use the Deep Roots again. Yeah, a lot of turns before I can use the Deep Roots again. So, Draika is totally on her own when it comes to this. Um, and I would imagine... Well, fortunately for me, the Wood Elves aren't very smart, and they haven't made friends with each other. Okay, so good news, good news. We still can move as well. So we could attack the Crag Halls. Oh my gosh, they've got so much defense. Um, 
could take the Oak of Ages, but there's no garrison. Well, there's no garrison at the Oak of Ages for any other faction. There is a garrison for us. If I attack the Oak of Ages, certainly that'll bring everybody against me, and then I have to survive for nine turns while being attacked by basically everybody. Oh, boy. Um... I feel like I feel like we should burn a little time until <laughs> until my reinforcements arrive because this is extremely risky to engage all these armies like this. So even I have my limits about the mad things I'll do. Trantor says, I mean, I get it. Trees are dangerous. Two thirds of major injuries in my life are caused by some jerk tree. Also, yeah, he also suggests the same name. It says the World Tree in Norse mythology. The tree which all worlds are bound to. That's cool. Yeah, so we got that name uh, involved now. With the Skaven and the Empire just running absolutely amok here. Join the war against the green. Hey, why not? I mean, I'm already at war with everybody else. Might as well. Why not? Make the dwarves happy. I've been wanting to draw them into my... You know, the dwarves might be drawn into a war against the Skaven. Interesting idea. If any of these factions offer me peace, I'll give it to them because I really want to focus on the campaign um, objectives here. So, yeah, we'll see. Marcus Christopher says, Air, really enjoying all the great content, so thank you for that. Just wanted to wish you, Mrs. Air, and the little Airs a very Merry Christmas. We had a great Christmas. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, we, we all had a good time together. Very much appreciate the, um, the well wishes. Uh, like I said, it was it was a good time, and I hope you did too, and that everybody else watching. Uh, I must get a cheaper upkeep when I'm in the forest. Interesting. Just enter an ambush stand. See if we can lure in some money, because we need some money. We're not going to last long um, if we can't get some cash. Uh, let's see. Tria, please, for a tree man. Sorry, Isaac, I, or Iska, I just uh, renamed the last tree unit that I had, a tree man at least. Okay, our ambush worked. Good. Get some cash out of that. Thanks, Throt. Speaking of cash, yeah, I'm going to take all the cash I can get off that filthy rat. Um, hey, what's up? Okay, I can't say that your idea of coming to play against this type of Garrison was a particularly good idea, but I did say I needed money, and so here's the Empire coming to my aid when I need them. So that's that's very thoughtful of them. Very thoughtful indeed. Cartel says, air for getting naming units and assigning banners in equal measure. Hey, I just assigned the banners and I named units, Cartel. So there's a first time for everything. Um, Michael says, can we get a Lord slash unit naming combo of Barky Bark and the Trunky Bunch? Now, that is a good idea, and in the rare event that I remember said request um <laughs> i i think we should now do I vanguard deploy up here or do i just get all of my i think i should just get all of my forces together okay not everything i have is vanguard deploys so that's why i can't push everything back all right let's start the battle yeah nothing's in range of me at the moment Get all our reinforcements here. Barky Bark and the Trunky Bunch. I like it. Stand your ground. I like it a lot. Hold. Oh my, Wildwood Rangers. Stand your ground. Hold. We have many Wildwood Rangers. At once. You know what, though? I'm going to keep the Zotes somewhat centrally located. And then move them to where I need them. We have so many Malevolent Tree Kin. That's just the right number of Malevolent Tree Kin. We can cover our entire Wildwood Ranger line with Tree Kin, actually. 
Good. And we've got many a branch wraith. I'm going to kind of spread them out. All behind our infantry lines to help provide leadership support. And then I'm going to put Patchy right up front. And then we've got some other tree units. I'm going to put them kind of here on these flanks. Like that. Okay, they've begun a mortar bombardment that's not of massive concern to me. Only got two archers. Okay, everybody is moving into position, and then I should be able to uh, scoot up and begin owning the Empire. I'll fast forward for just a second. Looks like the Empire is actually attacking me, even though they do have a ranged advantage. I don't love the fact that they're already firing at me with mortars, but I would like to get all of my units into position before moving. My, yeah, my movement will work. They have a ton of Reichsguard coming in up here. Keep my Zotes handy. Just kind of hold up that flank, so let the rest of my units move forward here. Yeah, see the tree can are going to block all these charges. for as long as I can. Tear through them as quickly as possible. This is such a weird attack, the way that the AI is going after me here. I guess I shouldn't be wildly surprised that the AI attack is rather discombobulated. My response is a little bit discombobulated as well. Empire Cavalry has been mostly dealt with. Can we kill this Lord here, please? Kind of spread out and headed over here. Just a few units kind of holding on against the odds here. Patchy. Let's go ahead and take that Reich's guard out of the picture. Stop that charge. Okay. Let's push all these missile units down here. This is a fight we're going to have to take. Kill the Reichsguard. Alright, wiped out this flank. I'm already pretty blobbed up. Let's try and get a few units free from the blob. Okay. 
push these units up. Start trying to take out halberds. Can we chase this unit by chance? Wildwood Rangers, ready for battle! Alright, can we clean this up right here in the middle? Yes, we can. Alright, let's push forward over here. some of this stuff. Wildwood Rangers, Wildwood Rangers. let's just push forward. We've got too many units blobbed here. There is an Empire Captain, so I'm gonna... Actually, that's too far away. Drop some people in here. Get into these units. Um... Archers, there's a blob of missiles right there. If you could do some killing on that, that'd be great. I'll leave this one unit of dryads there. Yes. Let's push these. And so let's, let's push up. Alright, the power bar is swinging in our favor, even though, it, I mean, I almost feel like I'm losing the battle just because I can't control it. But apparently not. We're surviving. Okay, don't chase those units because then I can shoot them with my archers. Okay, how are we doing over here? Apache, can you clean this up yet? Wildwood Rangers. Too many units in this fight. Sling some units up here. We're gonna lose some units. Probably. It's because this fight's been long and ugly. Oh, my branch rate's still chasing. That's frustrating. Zotes, where are you at? Um, zotes, 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 uh, way back here. Great! That's what I needed. This branch rate's gonna get... I'm gonna have to keep chasing this stuff, actually. How is this blob still here? Like, I feel like this blob should have succumbed to... Wounds long ago. Our bones are yours. Please, an archer unit. One of my archer units just went straight through the lines of its own accord. Alright, we're starting to get a, a general chain route here, which is good, because there's a lot of Imperial units left. Alright, as expected, they lose, because we have overwhelming force. Not because of a beautiful strategy, per se, on my part, but it's actually kind of hard to control here. Okay. Success. Success, success. Um, so that'll give us quite a lot more money. Quite a lot more money, and we should be able to replenish quickly because we're in the Griffinwood, and since we put a beat down on Throt and two Imperial armies, I kind of doubt that any of those forces will be back any time in the next couple of turns. But we'll continue to lay an ambush and lure them into the forest so that we can rob them. Oh, yeah, we got some loot there. It's uh, the first good loot we've gotten in a while. We picked up a... Well, Crown of Command sucks, but at least we're picking up magic items. Ransom out the captives. Excellent. Now, that's going to be all the time I have for this episode. Um, what I may do is, before the next episode, I may skip a few turns of me just kind of defending the Griffinwood and buying some time um, until I can go reinforce Drika. That way we can just kind of get started on the assault of Athaloran. Like, I don't know that it's going to mean a whole lot to you all to miss some of these turn ins. So, let's see. It says you need another forest ASAP. Are you able to confederate with Oreon's camp? I don't think so. Like, I doubt we can confederate with anybody. If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know. TCDEG says Throt finally got truncated by the tree army. That's right. Oh, speaking of, uh, we needed um, Barky Bark and the Trunky Bunch. <laughs> Let's see, we got the trunk. Do I? Uh, here we go. This will be Barky Bark. Um, 
Yeah, because we've named all these, and this will be the Trunky Bunch. There we go. All right, so we got Barky Bark in the uh, in the Trunky Bunch. I'm gonna re-enter my ambush stance, see if we can lure in some more Imperial Suckers. Uh, Todd Bringer is back, uh, no doubt looking for seconds on being killed. Um, it is the end of this turn, and since I'm you know not at war with enough people yet, I am gonna go ahead and attack and kind of like ruin the Skaven. Don't need to call my allies. Whoops. No, I still want to attack them. No need to potentially lose the Dwarven allies over a small war with the, uh, the Skaven here. Alright. Resolve this. And this Heathland. Um, I do need kind of a home base. So I'm gonna occupy it, and at least we'll have a base over here. Picked up an Ogre Blade. That's good. I need that for Apache. I'm gonna put him on there because I will no doubt absolutely forget by the time I get to the next episode. So let's take care of that. Let him pick up more looting. We've got Arcane Conduit. Let's go ahead now and do some Replenish Troops. And we've got our cane conduit here, so I'm going to do the same over here. Just replenish troops as quickly as possible, because we're going to need Patchy to potentially hold off lots of enemies. Uh, hand weapon, Ogre Blade, that'll help out quite a bit, actually. Um, let's see, let's get a couple more uh, comments here. Uh, Al the Molfar says, thank you for the video. You cannot trade th uh, through Captured Forest other than your main. Yeah, I figured as much, which would make it difficult. Um, it's, if they can capture Sylvania... Um, then we might be able to uh, trade the high-quality convicts slash timbers. <laughs> Thanks, Al. Appreciate all the support for the channel. Sons of Lorgar, in the deep, dark griffin wood, maple syrups you. Yes, it does. I mean, you got to be careful of syrup. Carol says, uh, Air, can you imagine being married to Dryka? Ever single merry man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't feel that way. Mrs. Air's great. <laughs> but it's a funny joke, nonetheless. Uh, Lucas Radler says, uh, Yggdrasil is the world tree from North... Man, everybody's talking about this. Did I somehow bring this up and just not know it? It says, also, uh, Air, someone is going to want you to go through all your videos where you forgot to name a unit and rename them all in one video, just saying you got to work on that. <laughs> um, I think we need a tree kin unit called Branches in Arms. Well, right here. There we go, the branches in arms. So uh, we got the names in. Um, Air, you should show a video of the original Patchy if you still have it. I definitely don't have like the recorded version of it on my machine, but it is on YouTube. Um, so maybe sometime I need to just go record some footage from it and, and make a video out of who is Patchy. Um, Senshi Bat says, don't go to the forest creatures. They know who's the boss. Deck the Beck off him with boughs of tree things. <laughs> I like it. Very, very uh, Christmas spirit there, Senshi. Appreciate all the support from you as well. Thanks for being a channel supporter and member. Uh, Brandon Holdridge says, What are the mods Air is using in this campaign? Uh, quite a few um, that I'm using. Um, I, I can name them real quick. Hold on, let me head over here. You all won't be able to hear any noise, but it won't be the end of the world. Let me go ahead and answer this one for you. I'm not going to have all the links posted to them because that'll take me a while uh, to throw into the video, so... Uh, maybe going forward, what I'll do is I'll just do a better job of putting all the links to my mods uh, in the video description. All right, here we go, workshop. Um, I could do this, though. Let's flop over here. Subscribed items. Turn on the display capture. All right, here you go. Um, let me show you what I'm using in this particular um, campaign. So I am using... This UI modding framework, which supports this right here, which is infinite respecs. This allows me to respec a character. I'm using this max level 60 Lord with a skill dump. Um, I am using this AI recruitment army composition, which helps the AI vary up their army composition a little. I'm using this no great power penalty because I hate the no or the great power penalty. I'm using this uh, less blood, less gore because it's overkill on the original. And then I'm also using this no extra upkeep which I hate the extra upkeep penalty for the player. It doesn't apply to the AI, and so it just makes things stupid. And then this home region movement bonus gives you some extra movement. It's 10% within your home region. Um, so yeah, that's the mods that I am using um, for this particular uh, campaign. So just a few things that, to me, make the play style 
feel a little more at home. Um, some people say, oh, it makes it easier. Yeah, I guess it does, since you're going to get reduced upkeep on some of these armies. But at the same time, to me, it makes it more fun because I'm not suffering from some stupid difficulty penalty that CA had to add in because they're incapable of making the game more difficult in a fair way. So yes, that's why I don't very much like that um, penalty. And then same thing with uh, uh, great power. Like, it's just a stupid arbitrary penalty to hurt the player for no other reason than they don't have any other ways to hurt you. So if they put stuff in there that's well thought out, I wouldn't mod it out, but it's not very well thought out, and so I modded it out. <laughs> Get a couple more comments here quick at the end. Um, I'm already over time, but we'll, that's okay. We'll go ahead. Hero uh, says, Drika Sanctioned Wood comes with free range trees, uh, fed a multi-grain diet, cruelty-free, and the trees are not harvested until their natural death. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Hero. That's a good comment. Shime says, you should tag the episode where Patchy was born in the video descriptions. Uh, I'll try and look for it at some point. I don't know where it's at at the moment, but it's in an old campaign. Uh, definitely in my old Poland-Lithuania campaign. I'm pretty sure I renamed the episode. So you might be able to search for uh, Patchy Poland-Lithuania campaign or something like that. See if you can find it. Um, Polaris2694 says, really enjoying this Kentucky Fried Rat on a Stick action. Oh yeah, there's going to be lots of dead rats. Um, let's see, Kenny says, have you thought about doing a spam army of like dryads or something and the general should be an elf named the Lorax? <laughs> That's pretty funny, Kenny. I can't afford any more armies at the moment, but I love the idea. Commander says, my Draka campaign's doing well, but got bogged down in the vampires for a while. Now my third would. Uh, been meaning to ask about fighting in the woods. Do the bonuses make it worthwhile while trying to engage in the forested area? I, I think the bonuses are decent, especially depending on what kind of stuff you've unlocked. So it certainly can be good to do what I'm doing like this, trying to lay ambush in the forest region. Um, that CA please cheese. Yeah, Spencer's every every episode for me is gonna have some CA please. Dersanji says, more names for units heirs. Any unit you want, can you name a unit? Uh, can you name a unit the Guardians of the Woods? Um, sure I can. Got the uh, Enigmas of Gyran, Malevolent Dryads. Here, here we go, Guardians of the Woods. Done. Got it taken care of for you. And then Colin Sutherland says, I found it annoying when trying to take another forest. People wouldn't leave you alone to go take one. I ended up having to push uh, Throt all the way up to Hell Pit and then make peace with the Reichland to finally take a second forest. Yeah, basically if you ignore the Heathlands, do something like I'm doing here, you might just have to go into the negative after building up some money. Then you can send another army out. Um, honestly, though, I should probably consider taking another forest before Athaloran, but I really want to go straight for Athaloran. But I'm going to need both of my armies in order to accomplish that because we're up against some significant elfy garrisons over there and uh, just a lot of troops in general. So in any case, hope you all enjoyed this episode. I got to all the comments. Please make sure to leave your comments in the next one. I always appreciate them. Air of Carthage signing out for now, and I will see you soon.